So guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be asking the question, do you really need a running coach? And of course the answer is going to depend on quite a number of things, but let's say you are the type of person that wants a running coach. You want someone to design a program, so all you have to do is follow it. You know what you're gonna do one day, you know what you're gonna do in two weeks from now, and you can just go down the list. As you're approaching a race, you can tick off those workouts, and they've all been pre-designed specially for you. Well, with the rise of AI, specifically ChatGPT, it really brings that into question and makes me wonder, do you need a running coach? Oh, and this is also the weekly running and training vlog where the main purpose of this video is for you to tell me about your week of running. I want to hear about your successes and I definitely want to hear about those setbacks. So make sure you drop a comment about your week of running in the comments. Okay, let's head over to ChatGPT and let's put in a prompt. Let's say 12 week marathon training plan for beginner runners. Let's enter and let's see what comes up. And we can see, oh, it's it's coming right along with a week one of this training plan. I'm just gonna let this do its thing, fill out, then we're gonna go back up to week one and we're gonna have a look at what artificial intelligence says we should be doing if we are a beginner runner training for a marathon and we have 12 weeks to do it. We have Monday, three miles easy, rest day on Tuesday, three miles, rest day, three miles, rest day, four miles. First things first, what I'm seeing is, is that ChatGPT is saying that you should only run 13 miles at the beginning of your training program. So already I'm seeing an issue because if someone is going to be training for a marathon, it's very likely that they are not training from scratch, especially if they're going for a 12 week program. We have to make some assumptions before we go into marathon training that we run on a regular basis, right? We definitely know it is not healthy to wake up one day and just say, you know what? I wanna run a marathon in three months. Yes, it can definitely be done. No, it is not the best way. Let's dig a little deeper into ChatGPT. Let's jump right down to week eight. So at this point, we have been running for two months. We've been training consistently for seven weeks. We're entering the eighth week. We're starting off with Monday, three miles easy pace, Tuesday, three miles easy pace, Wednesday, three miles easy pace, Thursday, three miles easy pace. Is anyone else seeing a pattern? Friday, three miles easy pace, Saturday, three miles easy pace, Sunday, we've got a long run at 11 miles, and it's also at an easy pace. So now would be a good time to point out that ChatGPT and other AI programs, all they do is scour the internet and they grab information from places and they put it together and they spew out an amalgamation of the information that they have gathered. I don't know where ChatGPT is getting this information, but just looking at it, if you're only running three miles a day, six out of seven days of the week, and then you're running 11 miles as your long run on Sunday, without a day off and you're a beginner runner. I'm seeing that we could be getting into some dangerous ground here, but let's move right ahead. Let's scroll down to the final week, week 12. And wouldn't you know it, we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, where they want you running three miles easy. Now remember, this is a 12 week marathon training program. So we're thinking the race is on Sunday, but on Chat GPT's 12 week training program for a beginner marathon, we've got 15 miles at an easy pace on Sunday. So the program for a beginner runner isn't allowing any kind of Paper, but in chat GPT's defense, it hasn't allowed for any kind of buildup other than the long run gradually increasing over the 12 weeks. And then at the bottom, there is a little disclaimer. It says this plan gradually increases the distance run each week to help the body adapt to increased workload. It's important to listen to your body and adjust the plan as needed. Make sure to include, and then it doesn't give me anything to include. So I think that is a bit of a wash. Let's try something else. Let's try something for advanced runners. Let's put in 12 week marathon training plan for advanced runners. Let's see what they say. I'm seeing it right down the different weeks and we're getting something a little different now. I think this is going to be a little better. But the question is, is it going to be right for you? And do I think, and do you think it's going to be able to take the place of a qualified coach? Now remember, this isn't using anything personalized that an actual coach would use when giving you training advice. We're only gathering data from around the internet. But many of you, myself included, we go out into the World Wide Web and we just grab marathon training plans at times to give ourselves a basis of what we're doing moving forward. And then we just adapt them to our own needs. So ChatGPT has finished writing me a 12 week marathon program for advanced runners. Let's take a look at what it suggests. So we're starting off on Monday. Whew, this is a tough start to our marathon training block. We're running five miles with four half mile intervals at tempo pace, followed by a rest day on Tuesday, four miles easy on Wednesday, another rest day on Thursday. Then we've got six miles with 
four times one kilometer intervals at tempo pace, a rest day, and then eight miles easy pace. That I guess is our long run on Sunday. So week one of this marathon training plan for advanced runners has us running 23 miles and we immediately jump into doing speed work right away. As far as the distance goes, 23 miles at the beginning of a 12 week training plan, that isn't the worst thing in the world. Clearly the plan does assume that you have some basis of running behind you because it is an advanced marathon training plan. But I do question a plan that has the first run of your plan jumping in and doing 800 meter intervals. But maybe, maybe that's just me. I'm not a qualified coach. Perhaps I don't know what I'm talking about. If you are a qualified coach, why don't you let me know in the comments below and let me know if you would prescribe the first workout of a training plan to be an interval workout. Let's scroll down just a little bit, see how ChatGPT gets on with a marathon training plan for advanced runners. Let's scroll down a couple of weeks. Let's go to, let's go to week eight like we did on the last one. Week eight starts off with eight miles with 10, 1600 meter intervals. So that's one mile intervals at tempo pace. Now notice it doesn't give us a recovery time in between those one mile intervals. And also notice that we have to run eight miles total, but somewhere within that eight miles, we have to squeeze in 10 miles of intervals. Now I will never claim that I am good at math, but something seems a little off with that. And if that seems a little sus to you, why don't you drop the abacus emoji in the comments below? But let's not get all high and mighty about the math. I'm sure the AI that designed this program is a very nice AI. Let's move right along. Tuesday, we've got eight miles at a very easy pace, followed by a rest day on Wednesday. Thursday, we've got another workout. And again, it seems like a pretty crushing workout with a total of 12 miles. And then we've got 12 times 1400 meter intervals at tempo pace. So if we crush the numbers, this workout is technically possible. Probably not ideal. I've already said it. I'll probably say it a couple more times, but I am not a running coach. But if I was, I probably wouldn't prescribe you this workout. And I certainly wouldn't do this workout myself, but it is possible. So at 12 miles with 12, 1400 meter intervals at tempo pace, if we immediately jumped into our first interval, so no warming up and we went out and we ran from cold, we crushed our first 1400 meter interval. We would then have to take a 200 meter recovery in between each interval in order to squeeze that workout in to the 12 mile total. Okay. Not ideal, but doable. Then on Saturday, we have 13 miles at an easy pace, followed by our long run at 22 miles at an easy pace. That's right, 22 miles at an easy pace. So from week one to week eight, we have gone from a total of 23 miles all the way up to a long run of 22 miles. Seems like a bit of an increase. Then let's scroll down a little more and we can see that, well, ChatGPT is actually missing the last two weeks of my training program, week 11 and week 12. But again, in ChatGPT's defense, perhaps they are saying, we have really crushed you with this training plan. You need to take the next two weeks off before your break. But let's look at week 10. We start off the week with one of these deceptively difficult workouts at nine miles with 12, 1800 meter intervals at tempo pace. Much like those other workouts earlier in our training block. Just don't, don't see how I could knock that out. Don't see how you could knock that out. Kipchoge, maybe. I mean, if anyone can, Kipchoge could squeeze 13 and a half miles of intervals into a 12 mile run, but probably no one else. Then Tuesday, we've got nine miles at an easy pace, followed by Wednesday, a rest day. Probably gonna need to take your rest day on this plan. And Thursday is another workout day. We've got 14 mile totals and we've got 14 one mile intervals. So again, pretty challenging workout. We're gonna have no warm up and no recovery time in between each of those intervals. I'm just <laughs> trying to keep a straight pace so absurd. Okay, let me just wrap this part of the video up here saying, I don't think at this point that chat GPT or AI in general is quite ready to take the place of a professional coach. Coaches, don't worry. I think your job is secure for now. With that said, I had a pretty good week of running. Now I'm not following a training plan. I'm still coming off my last marathon, but this week started off on Monday with 8.1 miles. Very easy. Now I'm still feeling my legs a little bit after that marathon, which was a couple weeks ago now, but I got back into running pretty easy, pretty quickly after two days off, they started running easy again. So 8.1 miles on Monday. Tuesday was another eight miles, very easy. But on Tuesday, I threw in eight one minute intervals with one minute recovery in between. I just wanted a little bit of time to get my legs turning over a bit faster. And it actually felt pretty good. I finished that run feeling spot on. So good, in fact, that I took Wednesday off. Wednesday was my off day this week. And then on Thursday, I still felt good from my little bit of speed on Tuesday. So I decided to do a bit of a tempo effort. I ran 8.2 miles total. I warmed up for two miles. I did five miles miles at a tempo pace, which equates to about my marathon pace. And then I cooled down for 1.2 miles and I felt really good at the end of that run. However, on Friday, on Friday, my legs were singing. Now it could be because I did a lot of squats the day before, but as far as my squats, I really didn't do anything different than I usually do. I put down my legs feeling the way they did to that tempo effort. But on Friday, I still managed to go out and knock out 11 miles. Super easy, feeling pretty good after it. Now a lot changed for my Saturday run. We had a cold front come in and the temperatures dropped 
through the floor. And seriously, the feels like temperatures were below freezing. So I had a lot of fun on the weekend, just, you know, putting on a few more clothes than I usually do. And Saturday I knocked out my long run, which was 15.1 miles. And I wish I could say that it felt good for the whole run, but it was very cold. And I was having a little bit of upper leg slash groin pain towards the end. Nothing serious, just felt like a bit of a muscle issue. And then on Sunday, Sunday, I wrapped up the week with 10 miles, super easy, in brutally cold conditions. And by brutally cold, I mean brutally cold for me living in Florida. And I did notice those groin issues towards the end of my run on Sunday, but it wasn't nearly as bad as Saturday. So hopefully it's gonna be one of those things that just disappears without really changing any of our behaviors. And Sunday's run brought my week's total to 60.48 miles, which is about 97.33 kilometers. So all in all, pretty stellar week. Guys, don't forget to let me know about your week of running and of course your thoughts on whether you think AI can replace a real life coach. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.